Now, the CDC would announce a new set of mask wearing guidelines today. Face coverings may longer may no longer be necessary. And policymakers will still consider COVID cases, but put more emphasis on hospitalizations. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is live in Uptown with what happens to all of the masks now. Good morning, Savannah. Good morning, NY and Julian. Infectious disease experts say while mandates may lift, don't throw the masks away just yet. They say they are still useful in those high contact and crowded situations. But what if you're the only person wearing a mask in that kind of setting? Well, doctors say that they are still very useful when it comes to protecting your health. Now, they say it's probably time to get a better fitting mask. They say if more people in the area are not wearing a face covering, then there will be more coronavirus particles in the air. So they say something like an N95 will be better. See, doctors know that masks will protect your health in three different ways. They say it prevents you from breathing out germs into the air, prevents you from breathing them in, and prevents people from touching their nose and mouth. So they say it's still a good idea to wear one in those crowded indoor settings. That's that's how respiratory protection is designed to work. You know, you wear something to protect yourself regardless of what's going on around you. When it comes to masks in schools, doctors say N95s are not fitted to child sizes, but they say any mask that is well fitted to the child's face is still going to protect them. And more schools are lifting these masks mandates. Most of the school districts in North Carolina have done so. Governor Roy Cooper encourages all districts to lift the mandates and go mask optional. However, he refused to force them to do so. We'll explain why coming up here within our next half hour. Reporting live in Uptown, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.